You really are amazing. So uh, tell everybody where you're from and your story, because it's incredible. Where were you born? I was born in St. Petersburg, Russia, and I was born in the time of fall of communism, and I was born with spina bifida, and shortly after that, because my birth mom couldn't take care of me, I was moved to orphanage number 13. Um, they're labeled by numbers, not by name, and that's where I lived there for the first six years of my life. So you were in an orphanage for six years, and you were watching all these other kids leave, be, you know, adopted, and were you, I mean, that must have been really hard for you to lose your friends, number one, and then see that you're not getting adopted. It was really hard. We had people always come in and out of the orphanage, and they wanted the healthy, perfect children, um, but that changed my sixth year when my mom happened to walk through the door, and at the time she was working for the government. And uh, I guess I was pretty cute, and she decided to adopt me. So she takes you, and, and she lived in uh, the United States. So in what part? In Baltimore. In Baltimore, which is where you live now, right? Yep. So, uh, so your mother takes you home, and you're how old? You're now seven? Six. <laughs> yeah, I'm six, yeah. S six. Um, and so, and, and did she put you in sports right away, or how did you end up becoming an athlete? So, because of, I didn't have any medical treatment for the first six years of my life, uh, my parents thought it was really important for me to become involved with sports because they know that's the fastest way to, to heal and to become healthy. And so I got, um, I was part of a local sports program called the Bennett Blazers, and I tried everything there, basketball, ice hockey, downhill skiing, swimming, and I was not good at swimming. Most of the water ended up out of the pool. <laughs> Archery, I can't even aim or hold the bow straight. And uh, I, when I tried wheelchair racing, I knew that was for me. Maybe it was the need for speed at that age, but mm -hmm. I knew that was a perfect fit for me. And what I started to notice about sports was I was getting healthy and independent and strong, and I was learning to, to live life normally and um, successfully. And then I had dreams and goals and desires that I wanted to be a Paralympic athlete. At that age, you had dreams. You knew at that, that age, around age nine, um, I... I knew that I really wanted to wow. to be a professional athlete one day. Wow. Uh, so these are just some of your accomplishments. So you've won 17 Paralympic medals, including seven gold. You hold the world record in every track event, 100-meter, uh, 400-meter, 800-meter, 1,500-meter, 5,000-meter. You set five Paralympic records in Rio. You're the first person ever to win all four of the world's major marathons in one year, and you've done that three years in a row. and you met the president and, and Michelle? Yes, I just said, hello, Barack, but I really want to meet Michelle because um, I knew that you and Michelle went to CBS together. Yeah. And so I asked her in the 10 seconds that I have, what's, what's the best advice to be on the Ellen Show? And she says, just have fun because you're fun and crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and I'm so, first of all, isn't she great, Michelle? She's wonderful. She gave me a nice big hug. Yeah. And, yeah, she's, she's so great. Wonderful. All right, so uh, you're going to run the Chicago Marathon now? I am, yeah. Wow. I'm leaving. So uh, if you win, yeah. that'll be the four four marathons in a row. It'll be the third one in a row, and New York will be the fourth coming uh, the up. The fourth, yes. Amazing, amazing. Thank you. Well, we have something to, uh, to add to the wheelchair. Andy? <laughs> Woo!